welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're playing Castlevania. Um, it's the one and only game that we released um, for the Sega and not for the Nintendo consoles. It's pretty much, in my opinion, almost like a remake of the first one from the Nintendo, from the NES. So uh, on the option screen we've got one player. Uh, I've got a password, so that's quite good. You can save your game halfway through. Well, you can go back to it at the end of every level. Oops. And you've got your options as well. Options you've got easy, normal. You can have different how many lives you want. I'm going to go with five. We'll keep the control button the same. So we've got A for attack, B for jump, C for item. And these are just your music options and your special effects or sound effects, whatever you call them. You can watch a demo or we can start the game. So let's make a start. So you've got two characters to play in this one. You've got John Morris who, and he uses a whip very much like all the other Castlevanias. And this guy, Eric, he um, uses the big spear. Um, we'll go with him because it's just more nearer to the original sort of Castlevania. There you go. That's his little whip. So it brings up a little map where we start. I think on this one you're travelling pretty much all over Europe or a different location, I think. I can't remember now. Let's, uh, let's see. And this game is one of the, the sort of perfect games for the Mega Drive. It's, um, it, it matches, you know, it's, you've got the good graphics of the game. You've got good music, you've got good sound effects, you've got good gameplay. Decent challenge as well. Decent story. So these here I'm collecting like diamonds, or what they are. Every time I collect a diamond, it means I've got more when I get a secondary weapon. It tells you there when I've got six at the top of the screen. It means I've got, when I pick up a second weapon, I can use that six times. Now it's gone to seven, and now eight. So if I press that button there, it goes back down to seven. It's like a special attack I can use. Oh. So normally the best bet is to sort of save him until you're on a boss fight. You can also build upgrades as well. As you can see my whip now has got bigger than what it was before, which is also comes in handy. Means you don't have to get too close to the uh, to the people that's trying to kill you. So we'll just that's him gone. So this game I know quite well. So you won't see me doing quite as many mistakes, or hopefully not. We shouldn't do anyway. Um, simply because I've played this one quite a bit. So let's get out of here. So I've got quite far in this game, I've not actually completed it yet, but I probably should have done by now the amount of times I've played it. But anyway. Oh. I ain't got him. So I like the way um, the graphics, I like the way it scrolls across there and moves on to the next part. I do like the uh, boss battles in this game as well. Makes it very entertaining. And it's another game that got sort of shadowed by the Super Nintendo version. Or, well, it's not the same game exactly. No. Thanks Troy. Troy's just joining in there to the conversation. I don't think he agrees with my assessment of the game. Basically, um, the Super Nintendo game, I'm not sure which came out first, I think it might have been the Super Nintendo game, but everyone seems to enjoy that one better. I prefer this one, probably because it's the one I've played the most. I just like the graphics, I like the, this is one of the boss fights. Got to try walking around again. Oh. So 
So that first boss is pretty easy really, just uh, do that. That's the end of that part. So it is a bit of a collecting game. You've got to keep collecting your, you know, your um, your diamonds, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what you call them. No idea. <clears throat> the more you collect, the easier it becomes. I do like them back backgrounds in this game as well. Oh. You'll see my energy bar at the top. I've got um, my score, 8,450 underneath. I've got my player energy. As you can see, I'm almost uh, two thirds away dead, which is not a great start. Um, so that's not good. And then underneath you'll see an enemy, so I think that's when I'm fighting uh, the boss fights or the mini-bosses in between stages. Uh, the picture in the middle without that axe, that's my second weapon, so my first weapon is the... Um, let's change to a potion now. Oh. Um, so you can see that in the middle of the screen I've got 30 uh, them diamonds, I'm on stage 1, part 7. And I've got 5, well it says I've got 4 characters four lives because I'm playing as my fifth one now. So that pretty much sums up the game. All you're doing is you're going around whipping these, you're trying to get to Dracula, I think he's the main character baddie that you're trying to get to the end of the stage. At the end of the game should I say. Um in between then you're fighting bats, you're fighting you're fighting skeleton people with the swords. Um so yeah it's just a bit of a random Oh. Damn. Oh, oh good. Didn't mean to do that. So like I said, this game, it does provide a lot of challenge. And I've got it on easy, but that's just so I can get, maybe get a little bit further in the game this time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just to uh, get a lack of what I'm doing. Whoa, what the hell was that? Okay. And this bit here, you can see there's a. Oh, I need that. Right, so that's giving me energy that were like a turkey in a way. In the. Um, that's not good, is it? So I did get a power up, my energy, but it's just gone back down again. So really there's no reason why I shouldn't get far in this game because I used to play it quite a lot. Even as recently as probably a couple of months ago, so <laughs> there's no excuses really, but we'll see. Right, not too bad. I do like this moon in background. I just like the the artwork. It's very good. So I'm coming up to my first boss fight now, so I could do with some sort of uh, power up in terms of energy, but I don't think I'm going to get that, so let's see how we get on then. You can see his energy is full, mine's, uh, mine's pretty much non-existent, so this should be fun. Just keep trying to use, send out special weapons, see how we'll get on. I think. It's coming, oh, this is going to be it there, so I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, so that went quite well. That's my little reward, whatever that is, I've no idea. So that's stage one clear, so we move on to the next part then.
and give me an increase of energy power. That's good because I'll need that in the next part. So that's my password there. So if I want to end the game now, I could. All I need to do is take a photo of that or write it down. And then when I come back, if I go to the password screen, I can pretty much pick up where, where I left off, which is good. Especially for 16-bit games like these from the 90s. Before saving were around. So now I've moved on to the next part. Now this personally is my favourite uh, it's not my favourite level, um, but it's my favourite. It looks the best in terms of the background. It looks like a painting to me. It's just very striking background. But the main thing about this game is it's going to be the, the gameplay. Oh. Yeah, it's all about the gameplay for me. I mean, I love that uh, effect of the water rising up and down. But if you don't have the gameplay, then, you know, there's no point in talking about the game, is there? So, so far, most games I've played, or if not all games I've played, have been good games. So, it'll be good when we get to the uh, the rubbish games, so we say. That'll be interesting, because uh, there's quite a few of them on Mega Drive as well. So, that'll be fun. If you want to see me lose my temper, then uh, that'll, be, that'll be your chance to see it. Whoa. So that's that part of the other way. Ah yeah, this is a, like a rising water scenario. You've got to basically outrun the water rising from underneath. We're also still dodging these. Oh. So yeah, you're basically up against it. You have to go too quick. Because uh, you go too quick, you end up being at on the screen waiting. Also, if you go a bit too quick, you end up getting attacked by the enemies that are waiting for you at the top, like them. So it's normally a little bit better, to, a little bit of caution. Ooh, got caught then. So I've got 45, 43 of them gems. As you can see, I'm trying to save them up. Oh. Can see that. I've, ooh, yeah, okay. This is a different way to what I normally go. So this. Ugh. Right. So what has stopped going up now? It's kind of a little mini boss now, I like to call him. I like this guy, he's quite funny. He just basically does that, you just gotta hit him. You got like a time limit, so what's gonna start rising in a minute? Because uh, I'm on easy mode actually, it's very easy, they normally make it a lot more difficult than that. Don't like these birds. Can never react quick enough for him. Do I did not going to come back again. Ah, oh, great that time. Oops. Oh, never get the timing right. So as you can see, I'm almost dead now. I think here we are. That's it. Have done with a better weapon than this, I think. Although it's not doing too bad. Basically, one hit, and I think I'm dead, though. One more. I'll do. Oh, okay, I forgot about this one. I'll do that. Follow this one does. <laughs> oh, now I remember. Right, okay, now I remember.
So we start again. It's a little bit harder this time because my whip's a bit smaller, so it's a bit annoying, but can't be helped. And the water is starting to rise, I think, at the bottom there. Just. Oh, oh my whip. <laughs> oh no. Did it just. Right, okay, so that's good. So the water goes back down. So you've got to see it then. I've also used a lot of my. Um, A lot of my gems have been used. So I could do with something to build them back up. Whoa. But I do like the bosses in this game. I mean, it's nice for them to be a bit bigger than what they are. I think with this one actually I should be just getting near to him and just doing that. Yeah. Then saving my gem sort of one. Right, okay, I remember now. Okay. So this one's better to do this way. Oops. Missed. Right, we've got the pattern down now. Should be quite easy. Oh, I got me. Right, that's him done. Yes, yeah, so I'll go down here. Oh, yeah. This one you're kind of sinking down. Got to avoid these because they're a pain in the backside, so we'll call it. And guys, anyone any feedback on um, on the intro would be nice. Any feedback on the sound of trying to do a different micro microphone this time, so hopefully maybe it'll be a little bit louder. I've, what I've done is I've turned the sound off the game completely. Oh. I've done that just so um, I might just add a little bit of music in the background instead because otherwise people complain I talk too quiet so what can you do? But yeah, any feedback in general would be nice. Um, I'm also on Twitter now, I've got 200 followers on there so it'd be nice to connect to other people on that. Uh -oh. oh yeah. So yeah, but like I say, it'd be nice to uh, connect to anyone who's interested in talking to me. I'll get in touch. So I'll finish my videos. Oh, I'm sure he's joining in again. It's finished for the time being. Try to be quiet. Hmm. It jumps to his own death, that's quite funny. Damn. Damn. So again, the uh, graphics are really good in this one. It's 
I mean they're not detailed but they're um, it's really good use of colour and I like this uh, statue that you've got to this head that you've got to knock over just adds something a bit, a bit different to the game Let's see if it'll same again yep <laughs> that's funny Oh, damn, damn. Um, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when I um, first played a Castlevania, the NES version, I thought it were a bit, um, a bit slow moving, and I guess this game is same. But you do get used to it; and it becomes sort of part of the uh, part of the charm of it almost. You, you learn to get your timings right, uh, your jumping right. I say as I can't jump. You kind of just get used to it, and it, and it doesn't really hold you back. You just end up taking it for what it is, whereas the other game I played this latter house, I just couldn't get used to it, it took a while. Even though it's a good game, it, it just it felt like it was hindering you. The movement, the non-movement, whereas this one doesn't. Feels a bit more natural to play. Oh, okay. Oh, bad timing. Oh, okay, so I'm dead there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. Um, I think I'll give you a good, you know, example of it. And what I might do, this is definitely one of the games I want to come back to and revisit and complete. I just haven't decided how yet or in what manner. If it's going to be on Twitch or it might be a live stream or um, just a YouTube video, I don't know yet. And uh, again, a thank you to all the 34 subscribers that I've got. Um, it's been quite an enjoyable experience, really meeting and talking to a few different other people who's doing similar sort of things to me playing these games um, so like I say and it'd be nice if you uh, connected and got back in touch okay thank you thanks bye